Hello and welcome back to Paradise Lost. At the end of the last episode, we found another memory tube and we now need to place it in here and see what it's going to reveal to us, I suppose. Hopefully something happier. Probably not, though. Sure, just give me a second to find you on the monitors. I found another Eve memory tube. We don't need to play. The system doesn't seem to require it. What if I want to? Why would you want to? Has anything good come from digging up the past? Not really. So far, it's all been stories of destruction and betrayal. She's not I wrong. Man I'm looking for in one of these recordings. I'd rather you didn't waste our time with another memory tube. You. you know my opinion, do what you want. Mm, I kind of want to know what it is, though. I want to play it. I can't stop you, can I? No, not really. I'm curious. I mean, these things are enlightening in a way. Alright, here we go. Looks like we're in. What kind of evil things are we going to find this time? What's it going to make me push? At this rate, we should be able to leave the bunker in a couple of months. That is, if we choose. Huh? I'll oh, be back with Lucian again. Answer it. Lucian, we need to talk. Well, this certainly is a surprise. To what do I owe the pleasure, Dominica? I want to negotiate. No. Really? As I've already told you, the situation is simple. We split the food three ways. You get a third, we get a third, and the rest will be given as an offering to the gods. If it weren't for their guidance, we wouldn't have found the food to begin with. We must pay our respects. Fine. Fine. We'll split the food three ways, but on one condition. You take down those turrets. He put I'll a turret? Eventually. If you keep your end of the bargain for the next two months, then I'll agree to remove them. Think of it as a grace period. If you want production to continue, then you need to take them down. Now. The thing is, Dominica, I need you less than you might think. Come back when you've come to your senses. Wait. Let's not make any hasty decisions. I'm sure we can come to an understanding, Lucian. What's happening? Deactivated. She tricked us. Ah. I don't know what you're... You'll find out soon enough. But I can promise this won't end well for you. Find her! Get those turrets back online quickly. Show me the map. So it seems like he got They're control. Or he got it. They mustn't get he was able to the control the computers understand. better. Hold them back. Oh, we're gonna we to blow up the bridge. Do you oh, understand? my goodness. There's no other way. If we don't, all of this will have been for nothing. You're gonna cut off the turrets are back online. Authorize the use of lethal force. Make sure no one's on the bridge when it explodes. He blew the bridge up. There are 14 casualties in the line of fire. No. 
You still don't understand how any of this works, do you? No, I don't want to blow it up. There's people on the... Well, not people, but... I didn't but... want this. I didn't want any of this. He's going to do it anyway. You made me do this. Uh, what? Do we not actually get a, a say in this? This is stuff that happened in the past. Oh, it's so weird because if that happened in the past, why is it making me make these choices now? Looks like I can go through the store now, though. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it looks like they did blow up the bridge. So... Lucian had control of the food because he was able to produce it, but Dominica had control of production. Production of what, though? That's the question. Munitions? But they wouldn't have needed that, right? Or did they still produce them? I, I wouldn't think. I mean, sure, they would need them if they went back up topside again. But down here... Eh, well, they were fighting each other, so that's stupid. That's not the right train of thought. Man, they he did blow up the bridge. So it didn't matter what options we chose. These events have already been... been done and over with. Like, just like we thought. Alright, so it looks like we got a shimmy across here. Oh, man. Yeah, it's a long way down. There we go. Let's get back out of here. Please. Oh, no, we're going down further. No. Please, no. Please be solid enough for me to make it across. That's all I'm asking. So it wasn't a very big explosion. I mean, it would have slowed them down, but it wouldn't have stopped them. But it did kill people. Um. Yeah, the turrets are still online. Please, let's hope they've run out of bullets. Please tell me they have no bullets. Oh, yeah, it's following me. Please don't shoot me in the back. That's all I ask. Alright, so I must not be considered a threat. That's good. Holy heck, that would really suck. To make it this far, just to be shot in the back by a turret. In a war we had no part of. It's still quite impressive, isn't it? That's very impressive. Alright, uh, I guess we should uh, be moving on. Dang, it's just so hard to believe that this was all built underground. It's just so massive. So I wonder what part we're moving into now. What would this section have been? And how much deeper does it go? I mean, so far it's been... I, I just, I wonder how far underground we actually are. Because it seems like the longer we're in here, the further down we're going. It's not like they built... I don't know. Hundreds of miles of bunker. It's more like they've dug down hundreds of miles. Oh, n lab coats? For what? Have we moved into pr production? No, food. Oh, wait. There's, there's bones in there. From what? Is 
Is this where they process live animals at one point? Surely those are like, I don't know, cow bones or something? They're too big to be human. And I don't think they're quite shaped right to be human. I didn't miss anything in here, right? There's nothing. Yeah, I can't go that way. And I saw everything in here. I'm pretty sure I did. Alright. I guess we're going this way. Oh, so weird. Alright, looks like we have some controls there. I might need to open that door on the other end. Let's read the note first, though. Transcription of an automatic recording triggered by detection of the keyword GOAT via the intercom system. That GOAT, there was something odd about it. What do you mean, odd? Had horns, a tail, a goat like any other. But did you see what it did? Goat things. It stood around. Exactly. Stood in the grass and didn't even take a bite. Maybe it wasn't hungry. Have you ever seen a goat that wasn't hungry? That's like a calf with two heads. Don't you remember how in 43 the Schlosschek's goat ate all our grass in the yard, then ate your belt too, and you had to truss your trousers up with twine? Don't act, don't act like you don't know. Goats never stop eating. I'm telling you, something with that goat ain't right. Well, it's a miracle goat. Maybe miracle goats are more particular about what they eat. You old fool, you believe anything. If some pretty young thing lifted her skirt for you, you'd think it was for true love and not for the six pounds of dried meat in the larder. Okay, so that goat they found wasn't eating anything? Or maybe it just didn't like the, the grass that they had? If they had grass, I haven't seen any. Just Can sand. No, what are you? It looks like a food processing factory. I can't. Eva? Eva? Hmm, so perception is not that great here. Alright, let's see if we can get that door open at the end. Let's throw at the top one. Nothing. Oh no, it was there. Am I good? Is that all I need to do? Let's hope so. I'm gonna... No. Oh wait. Oh, okay. I thought maybe I needed to go and open that. Yeah, those are some big bones. Are those even... Could that even be cow bones? They're awful big. How's that big boned? I don't know, their legs look awful short. Well, let's hope this was the right thing because. Uh. Never mind. Apparently, the door doesn't matter. Oh, stop, stop. the machine! Stop the machine! Oh, God. No, stop it! No, 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 no. Holy heck. Get me off here. Holy bobs. Oh, you tricked me with the door. My good night. Well, there's their meat. It's still frozen. Definitely cow. Oh, heck. That was a close call. Jeez. Yeah, let's not do that again. I still wonder what was through that door, though. Oh, well. It's fine. Let's go through here. Eva? Can you hear me? I thought I was going to die. I need to tell you something. You saved my life. And not just now. When my mom passed away... I didn't think I could carry it alone. 
There was no one, nothing left for me to live for. I tried looking for Lucian because I needed someone to be there for me. And that someone was you, not him. I have a goal now. I'm going to find you. Okay. So he did know Lucian's name before that. Oh, okay. So his mom must have told him. We've not had any flashbacks about her in a while. Interesting. Stenograph record. Request letter. According to the settlement office, we are to be supplied with 200 tons of spelt no later than... 3-1-1960. No such delivery has been made thus far. This is an urgent matter. I expect a prompt response. Response. Your request has been noted. This delay is due to the unfathomable stupidity of Polish bandits. They wanted to blow up the SS outpost, but their explosives exploded prematurely, destroying a nearby storage facility that was holding speltment for Zulzendorf. We will supply you with spelt as soon as possible. Hmm. I'm not sure what spelt is. I'll have to look it up. I know I've heard the term before, but I don't remember what it was. So, it doesn't look like it matters what door I go through here. I'll just go through this one. Just a through and through greenhouse. Looks like this is going to lead me to the other side, right? Yeah, I can get around. Can't go back through, but it's okay. I don't want to go back. I want to keep moving forward. Looks like we have the same option over here. I'll, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's take this one. This is the one I'm in front of. I'm not quite sure. Oh, it looks like tomatoes. Yeah, it looks like tomato plants. There we go. Looks like I can go that way, but is there anything back here before I go that way? Oh yeah, we have uh, some records or something here. Let me look over here first. Nothing. Alright, what do we got? People have gone completely nuts. With this whole faith of the ancestors thing, they want to make sacrifices. We don't have enough food to just be tossing it away, so the gods may feast. I need to think of something that will satisfy the gods but keep the offering intact. There has to be a fire, otherwise they won't buy it. And when I throw something on it, the flame should spurt up. Maybe some kind of LED thing. I think I saw some lights somewhere. Just have to keep the dolts away from the sacrificial fire, or they'll catch on. The hollowed trees should be a good spot for making sacrifices. There needs to be a hole behind the fire with a photovoltaic cell hooked up to a circuit so it sends an impulse that increases the flame underneath there can be a container for the sacrifices which will go right back to the storehouse dang if I'd known I'd end up being forced to meddle with electronics I'd never have decided to become a priest oh so Lucian had to have written that so Oh, that's tricksy. So, he would have given Dominica a third of the supplies and kept two-thirds for himself under the pretense of a sacrifice to the gods. Oh, wow, that's devious. I get it. Dang. Okay. Let's see what he was playing at now. like this is our way forward though we've moved out of bargaining and into depression 
All right. Well, let's see what this is going to entail, huh? Ah, we've reached level four, though. Level four. This is where the labs are supposed to be. I knew you'd make it. Eva? Yes, I'm here if you need me. So now she can hear me again. Okay. I don't see a microphone. How are you hearing me? I don't know. Is she stronger down here? Or closer? Chief Commander of Military Colonies Top Secret. If the civilian commandant A demonstrates incompetence and dangers the completion of the EVE project, leads the colony into disarray, or places its continued existence in danger, fails to meet production quotas for three consecutive months, exhibits signs of incapacity, mental or physical illness rendering him incapable of performing his duties, he must be eliminated and a replacement chosen. Henrik Helm Hemmer Himmler. So this was still the, the Nazis. But but they would have just left his note there, right? Since they were not destroying that stuff. Okay. Oh. Oh, is this the thing he was working on? How are you talking through this? What do you mean? It looks like a portable camera. That's so cool. Now I'll be able to see everything you see. Can you open the gate for me? Yeah, I can, but I need its serial number. Try looking for an electrical panel connected to it. Okay. Oh, I don't know that I like the her. Electrical panel should be connected to the door. Being like right on with me like that. I don't know. Should I? Uh, can I just look? With... Stuck. I think it's the same one that you took before. <laughs> if it hadn't broken down, I might never have found you. Okay. So here. Hold still. I have to type it in. Okay, got it. It should be open now. Okay. Um, uh-oh. Can I? You're unstoppable. Okay. Whew. Thought maybe I was stuck there for a minute. Okay. Oh. Well, looks like we're going way, further down. I heard everything you said down there in that food processing okay. place. Okay, I was wondering. Oh. I just wanted to tell you that I understand. I know what it's like to be left alone. Things stop making sense and you think everything's hopeless, but you have to keep going. Especially now, when we are so close. The control room is somewhere on this level. This is incredible. No, How deep exactly. on the are we? I'm not sure. Wow. Look at that. I'm pretty sure that's not the way. Yeah. Probably not. I was so focused on uh, going down or looking up that I wasn't paying attention to what was going on beneath my feet. If I hadn't heard that noise, I would have probably fallen down. Are those the laps? It looks more like a prison to me. Ah, it kind of does. So this is where they kept the criminals. I don't seem to have any control over this place. Its core architecture is much, much older than anything else around here. It's not even connected to the mainframe. You know a lot about this stuff. Well, I have a lot of time on my hands just sitting here. Hmm. Interesting. Just how long has she been here? Is she left over from the 
resistance creep? Has to have been here since then. If she's Lucian's daughter, she was. she's never been outside of here. Was she born here? Exactly how old is she? She kind of feels like an adult to me. But then, how would she be our sister since we're only about 12? They needed permission to go downstairs. They were issued a one-use punch card for good behavior. So, if we want to go downstairs, we'll have to find an unused punch card. Try opening up the cells. Okay. Say the prisoners? But why would they have needed prisoners? Or why would there have been prisoners? I don't know. That the prisoners who were kept here were all fertile women. Why? I don't know. Wasn't expecting that. Wait a minute. As a specialist in the field of dentistry, I would like to turn your attention to the teeth-related aspects of your program. Research has shown over 90% of Polish women suffer from tooth decay and other dental diseases, negatively affecting their reproductive capacity. A dental disease a delay. Dental de diseases a delay the onset of pregnancy, and are significant factors in miscarriages and low birth weight. Oral hygiene must be meticulously maintained during pregnancy. Bile sped up during morning sickness destroys enamel. Women must rinse their mouths with water after each expulsion. I suggest each woman admit, admitted to the program undergoes a full dental treatment before, in, before being sent to the farm. Once there, they may be supplied with oral hygiene supplies and supervised in their use. So the Germans were doing this? Because that was a German de letter. Hmm. Question is, did they can get out of here? Did they continue it? I think we should pay respect to the stories of these women. I don't want their sacrifice to be forgotten. Okay. We can do that. Well, let's start with this room. Looks like two women to a room. Although that looks. Here's uh, one. Yeah. Looks like more like a men's uh, shoe than a woman's, but that one's. Looks like it's all used up. Yeah. So, not that one. Hmm. Oh, this is so creepy. Oh, wait. I recognize that. Those paintings. Yeah, this one. Real... My mom used to draw something like that. Yeah. It's probably just a coincidence. No, I don't think so. The music changed. I think this is an important room to us. Was our mother part of this program? But how did she escape? Dear That's my mom's name. She was one of the prisoners. Why did she never mention to me? Well, do you want to talk about this place? Dang. I am forever grateful for what you did for me. He looks exactly how I remember him. I was terrified when I realized that I was starting to forget him. But now, thanks to you, I don't have to worry anymore. He'll always be with me. I'm writing this to you because I know you don't like to talk about it. But I hope one day you also get to experience what it means to be a mother. Those brief moments that we share with our children... Make all the suffering we go through worthwhile. I am praying to any God that is listening that they bless you with a child. Yours, Zasa. 
Oh, she must have painted that for her friend so she could rem remember the child she birthed and they took away from her. Oh, God, that's so sad. Oh, man. They had to have continued this program. That's a lot of crossword puzzles. Yeah, it is. But what else were they going to do? They needed to keep themselves entertained somehow. Alright, let's move on to the last two rooms. Three rooms. Surely one of these has a key card we can use. Or a punch card. Now here's one. This one is just up. Yeah, we're good. One more, two more chances. Yeah, here we go. now we get a letter, so only one more chance. Day three. It is my third day here, and still I marvel at the conditions How in this bad place. How is the world outside the, the prison? Seems like a better option. Everything is clean to the point of sterility. The Germans treat us with a measure of politeness, and the food is fantastic. I have never eaten such frequent, delicious, filling meals. Plus, they see that we get enough physical activity and maintain proper hygiene. They even make sure we brush our teeth after every meal. Before I was brought here, they subjected me to every medical examination imaginable. It would be like a wonderful vacation, except I still do not know where I am, nor why I am here. And I have no one to talk to about it at all. I share my room with Stepha, but as soon as we enter it, she begins crying into her pillow. I try to speak to the other girls in the cafeteria, but they only point to the walls with an uneasy look in their eyes. Is someone eavesdropping? It seems I will have to survive a while longer without conversation. At least I have you, dear diary. So she didn't know. But they fed them well. Well, of course they did. They needed them healthy to be able to um, be pregnant and have a healthy pregnancy. All right, looks like I can. Look, this one hasn't been used at all. We could leave now. The women here were only allowed to go downstairs a couple of times, and this woman never even used her pass. Okay, well. Lucky for us, then, huh? It looks like each woman, each of the two women in the cell was issued one pass, and they all got three chances to go down until they either got a new pass or that was just it. Looks like some medical supplies in case of an emergency. All right, let's go in. Oh, lovely. Another elevator. Do we trust this one? The last one didn't go so well for us. And what is it with this tree symbol? I'm glad that's over. Wait, that tree? It looks familiar. It was in the other elevator. But why? Yeah, down further? Good gravy. Not very much further. This is it? This is what they were denied? The right to meet their own children? You know what? I've tried to be brave, but this is too much for me. Call for me when you're out of there. Oh, so that ne woman never went down to see her child. Probably because she knew it would, she would never be allowed to raise it. It was going to be raised to be a German soldier. Oh, how sad. This must have been where they came prepared to give birth when they went into labor. Dang. 
how sick and twisted. Looks like we have more over here. Children involved in the program must pass a rigorous selection process. As a first step, children with Aryan traits should be identified. They will be passed to real German families or, once the program is underway, to the colonists. The remaining children should, by the time they are five years old at, the, at least, be split into three groups. Those with above average intelligence as measured on the desk subjected to programming. Those with normal intelligence prepare for field labor or factory work. Those in manual, those in any manner retarded, placed in the T4 program. Note, point C does not apply to autistic children. They are get, difficult to manage, but score impressively in testing. So let me guess, T4 was... They exterminated them. Dang. Cause isn't rising to poison? Pretty sure. I wish to inform you that Haas, one of our educators, has grown louder in expressing her discontent with the conditions at our school. She feels that cozy environs, exquisite food, learning through play, frequent physical activity, ample leisure time, and state-of-the-art medical care should not be wasted on Slavic swine. She complains that her own children, Aryans who can trace their heritage back at least seven generations, live much more modestly and without such extensive predatological aids. Furthermore, their education is frequently interrupted by the need to take shelter from enemy bombing raids. Oh. So, these babies down here were treated better than the other German children in the vault? Bunker? I keep wanting to call it a vault. Dang. Well, what are we going to find in here? Well, what do I not want to find in here? Um, a bit of everything, I think. Looks like I have... I think this is the way out. From the looks of it, the control room should be just beyond the dam. Okay, well, before I go that way, then, I want to go in here. Oh, what's this? Eva? Yes? Could you open the door for me like you did before? Are you sure you want me to do that? Knowing this place, it can be anything good. Yes, I do. Okay, then. Yeah, I want to know... all the things. All the horrible things. What is this? They... They were inseminating women here. It's horrible. I knew coming in here was a bad idea. No, I already figured that. Alright, so there's nothing else here. So... Must have been with the frozen sperm they sent down in here too, right? Or... Somebody else. Lucians, maybe? He seems like the type. Dear sir, I wish to call to your attention a matter which I believe is the utmost importance to the program you oversee. Cutting edge research by Helga. Gobels indicates teaching children to play musical instruments has a very positive effect on their intelligence, particularly their linguistic ability and spatial perception. 
This researcher's findings and methodology can be found in Helga Gobel's fascinating doctoral dissertation written by the young woman under the tutelage of my husband and soon to be defended. Thus, out of concern for the proper mental development of our young colonists, I asked that a grand piano be included in the colony supplies. For such an instrument provides the best way to practice one's scales and thus enter the broader musical world. My husband is a fervent proponent of this idea. Reese Hartman, okay. I don't see a piano, but... Okay. Alright, well, it looks like we have discovered all the horror we can in this section. Let's move on to the next. Dang. See what, they were... The guards walked up there, or they were allowed to overlook the courtyard, maybe? Hmm. I wonder where we're going next. I mean, what's it leading us to? Surely we'll find where, like, Lucian and his crew it's were staying, easy, right? We'll have to find a way around. Well, looks like I had to find a way further down. Is there an end to the rabbit hole, guys? I'm beginning to wonder. Um, I guess it's not too far. Hopefully it doesn't collapse underneath of me, please. That's cool, though. I like that. Oh, maybe this is where they live. Emma? I... I grew up here. Didn't you say that you grew up in the village in the mountains? I did. And you thought this was it? This isn't funny. What is going on here? I don't know. Oh. So she thought she was in a village in the mountains, not in a bunker deep underground. So they lied to her. So that definitely means she didn't come from the outside. She was born in the vault. From probably one of the women up there that was impregnated by Lucian. Yeah? That's what I'm getting out of it. Hmm. Okay. Alright, let's keep pressing forward then. Maybe we'll find some more things. Sure this is the place. It is. Well, at least I think it is. I don't know what to believe anymore. What in the holy heck? What is What's that? Here? This is where we used to gather. My father performed rituals at that altar. Oh yeah, the altar that had a magic trap door. They were preparing a ritual for a successful journey. So they left without you? It looks like they didn't finish the ceremony. It's missing some offerings. Without them, the journey won't be successful. So... Do you want me to finish the ceremony? Hmm. You know what? Yes, I do. What do we need? Two things. An animal offering and a sacred item. What should we start with? Let's start with... An animal offering. Where can we find something like that? Uh, we have to get creative. I could try to catch a rat. I don't think that will be necessary. I have an idea. Go behind the stage, there's a workshop there. And we will find a food offering there? Sort of. Interesting. So, 
Were they gonna leave here or were they gonna drink the Kool-Aid? She said behind the stage. Can I go back this way? Did I look in here? No, apparently I didn't. All right, what do we have here? Oh, mighty bells. Oh, Mrs. Plasnik begrudged you a sacrifice. I heard her say it. Told her husband he was a fool to give you meat. Why not old bread if we got to give something, she said. Anyway, she only gives anything so people don't call her cheap. So please, mighty bells, punish her like she deserves and reward me, your faithful servant, always looking after you with health, good fortune, and that ring with the red gem Ms. Plasnik got off that German woman and surely does not deserve. Well, maybe that's our our other token offering. Oh, wow. I'm not sure which way I've been and which way I haven't been here. So I came in from that way. Let's continue on the path this way then. And see what we stumble across. An animal sacrifice though. Maybe... I don't know. Maybe a piece of food or something. A piece of meat left behind. In the bucket. Oh, a toy? Okay, well that would work too. I'm sure this will work. Don't worry. It's just about symbolism. Okay. Let's look for that sacred item. Go to the bedrooms, you'll find it there. Yeah, Why probably. There so many toys there. All the children grew up, and because of the radiation, no new ones were born. The youngest was Antek. When he turned 12, he became an adult. They shaved his head and put all the toys in one place for future children. Who's Antek? My best friend. Build a statue like it's no small thing. Don't get me wrong. I've built all sorts of stuff in my time. When I framed and roofed a summer villa for the chief of police, he nearly wet himself with admiration when he saw it. I stayed out of the camp because of that. Unlike my predecessor, he botched the job. Those forms I made outside... Lagoda for the underground bunkers that house Major Speedy's partisans. They took a bombing and still didn't bust. But a statue? What am I? Some kind of lap chopping wood carver? No, I'm a carpenter, dang it. Lucio might know his stuff about the gods, but he doesn't know stuff about wood. Although I suppose when the gods are involved, it's best not to make a fuss. Oh well, guess I'll hack out that statue for him. In the bucket. I already got it. Don't worry. I've got it. <laughs> Don't get your panties in an uproar, Ava. Let's, um... Can I... Okay, I can't go in there. Oh, those look like showers. Yeah, we don't want to go in there. We need to go where they were sleeping. Looks like that was along this side. I wonder Let's just how many people were here. Oh, that's quite good. I like that. It's just a very small room. So they didn't... I guess they really cramped them in. Maybe if there were couples, they got what a little bit bigger for? space. My hairpin. What does the hairpin look like? My father carved it in the shape of a bison. At least that's what he said it was. This is where I last saw it. So this was her room. Or maybe Lucian's room. I can't find it. I guess we'll have to find something else instead. How about the ring on the drawer? Yes, that could work. You just have to bless it, but that's not going to be difficult. It looks like we have everything. We can go back to the altar now. Alright, well give me a minute first. I wonder what happened to that hairpin. Maybe they took it. E.K.? Those are my initials. Did you do that? 
No, Antek carved it for me. He got such a talking to after. What does the case stand for? Mm, I don't remember. Hmm. Anything else here? It doesn't seem like it. There's something over here. What's this? Great Velas, grant me the gift of motherhood. Let me savor the sight of my own child as he learns to walk and talk. As he grows and supports me and my husband in our old age. I try treating myself with primrose oil, flaxseed oil, and chasewood extract. An herbalist friend gave me a mixture of ladies' mantle, yarrow, rue leaves, yellow meliot, lavender, clamus, root, marigold flower hops, and rose hip. Nothing helped. The years go by and I fear my womb will soon be barren. I vow if I am granted offspring, I will raise them to revere and worship you to the end of their days. You are my last hope. So, maybe the children experiments were only done by the Nazis and not by Lucian because all the women were barren it seems alright guys well it looks like we are ending the end of our time for the day in the next episode we will do this or finish off the sacrifice and see what other secrets this bunker holds for us but for now thank y'all so very much for joining me today i've been ball girl i hope you guys have enjoyed and i hope i see you in the next one